Hello everyone, this is your Filipina page. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to make a very short, hopefully, video, a reaction of one of my TikTok comments. Actually, it's not my video, but um, I saw a video that is like something about love and they are not in the same race or nationality and we have seen a lot of that even in the philippines a long time ago even when i was a kid i have seen that in the philippines foreigners come and marry filipinos and now even you know foreign women have chosen filipinos too um that's their choice and that's their life and if they're happy we should be happy for them right but then i placed a comment that I congratulated those in the videos because they found love and happiness and peace and I'm happy so I placed a comment like love has no color no race no nationality no religion blah 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 things like that and there was one friend guy who made a video of that comment that I made that he said, like um, contradicting to what I said, that he he says that love has a color. It's like you have a Filipino flag in your profile because you have to choose Filipinos first than others. And in in my comment, there was nothing such as like you have to choose this, you have to choose that, or whatsoever. It was a general statement saying that when it's love it's love no matter what so yeah our our heart does not have function except for pumping blood and giving out nutrients to our whole body it is in our brains right it this brain dictates dictates how we should feel yes i agree to that but when your brain says that oh i like her oh I love her. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so nice. He's so cute. And it goes through your heart. You will feel love. And if it's pure love, the gist of my comment is if it's pure love, no matter what, wherever you come from, whatever skin color, whatever nationality, religion, sexual orientation, political views, it doesn't really matter if it's pure love that's the point of my comment but I don't know and I find it a bit funny or amusing that he said that no love has a color it's like I said what I, I mean it's like the, the the mentality is just like there so I don't know if I was wrong on that to say that love has no boundaries you can love everyone even if it's eros even if it's platonic even if it's agape kind of love you should love humanity you should love everyone yes i understand of course you prior prioritize your own kind right and that's good there's not a problem with that but what if you don't find feeling that kind of love to your own kind you find it somewhere else you find it to other people of a different nationality so what's the problem what's the issue love is love and it shouldn't have parameters and boundaries love can move mountains as the song goes love moves in mysterious ways Thank you very much. And I'm clipping a video of my previous TikTok video about love is love. And it chooses no race, nationality whatsoever. When it's love and it's pure, coming from here, together with your brain and mentality, you jive, you connect, you work in harmony, you respect each other, love each other. That's it. Wonderful feeling. Thank you. So check these videos that I'm going to clip together. Bye. Thank you for my new subscriber, Sean. Hey there. So 
I woke up like this. Okay. Anyways, I want to tell you that love is never meant for us to judge. Yet many of us still do. Love is beyond age, race, skin color, nationality, religion, political views, sexuality. Yes, baby, I totally understand. You have your own standards, and it's okay. It's really fine, because you know your worth. But baby, let me tell you this. If it's true love, acceptance, plus trust and respect is the key. Love does have a color. No group of people are loyal to people outside of their race. Love has a color because every group of people love their people first and see anything outside of the family of their community as an abomination. Because what you trying to do here, destroy our shit. Like, I think that's a Filipino flag. Filipinos are loyal to Filipinos. I've seen it live and direct. Or Asians, period, are loyal to Asians first. I see it in every dynamic. Love does have a color. No group of... Okay, hi, my friend. Thank you very much for noticing. Um, my comment and um, I understand that I don't have anything against anyone and I'm not saying actually that um, you don't love your own people of course yes I do we do and uh, that's a fact right but I uh, what I'm saying supposed if you will think deeper that for example if you get in love with someone for example, me, I travel, for example, and then I fell in love with not a Filipino. So does that mean that I need to really hold on to my feelings that, okay, I don't want to love you because you're not Filipino. That's what I mean, my friend. I don't mean anything else that you have to love your own, you don't have to love your own people. Of course we will. We do. We are proud to be Filipinos. We are proud to be Americans. We are proud to be Italians. We are proud to be Africans. We are proud to be Arabs. We all do. Because it's our identity as a people. It's where we come from, right? But I was referring to if you would analyze the real topic and the logic behind is that when you fall in love, you don't need to say that, ah, oh, I don't love you. I have to stop this feeling. I, I have to stop this emotion because you are not Filipino. You, ha you are not brown skinned. That's a different thing. I think that is something about racial discrimination already. Okay, that's my point, my friend. So I didn't say that you don't love your own. Of course, patronize your own. It's important. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Filipinos are loyal to Filipinos. Well, this is just an interesting video. See, this is a prime example of Western mentality. They all think everything is racist in America and in the West. People of different ethnicities, you say collar, that's just a simplistic, simple-minded way of saying things, but people of different ethnicities can love and be loyal to each other. I have been married to my brown-skinned Filipino wife for eight years. And you talk about how, they're, they're, you know, just because of the color of your skin, you're going to be more loyal to the people that look like you. That's racist. Yes, I said it. You are racist. Which is funny because if you ask people like him about America, they'll say it's people that look like me that's racist.
but I'm the one that's married to a Filipina and lives in the Philippines. Hmm. You guys know me. You know how I feel about America and the West, you know, Western culture as a whole. I believe it's, it's toxic and it's bad for people and, and you should not be a part of it because you'll end up thinking just like this guy. I see it all the time on TikTok. These Filipinas that move to America and become westernized, and it's, it changes completely who they are. Personally, I don't waste my time with people like this anymore because I just I don't have time for the ignorance and, and the racism. You can love whoever you want to love. It doesn't matter what your skin color, religion, any of that is. It doesn't matter. Love knows no boundaries. Gay, straight, trans, doesn't matter. Love is love. Do not let the hatred and bigotry that this man is putting out to the world into your heart. It's not a good way to live.